This is a good friend of mine <clears throat> from a while back, and he reached out to me, and um, <clears throat> I found it very concerning because he asked me how I was doing. I kind of gave him um, an answer, and then he says he's retired, and he wants my number, so I gave him my number. I didn't think there's any harm to that. Um, and then we go further, and he tells me, and interesting, when you when you follow this, he doesn't say anything about him. Um, you can see all the stuff that's being said is me, uh, what I'm up to. And, um, <clears throat> and then he says that he needs a code that was just sent to me on my phone, and this would expire. So he's asking for me for the code, and he said he's trying to log on to his Facebook account um, with a new number, but it's not letting him log on. And uh, so I found it interesting <clears throat> that he couldn't, and uh, I asked him some questions for security purposes. Um, who was the production manager at, of the pipe mill when I was there. He doesn't quite remember. And there's no way you're going to forget who it is. I, I know Steve knows who it is. Um, he wants the code. I said, what was my, my degree in? And uh, when did you retire? Uh, again, <clears throat> he asked for the code. He has no clue. Uh, I tell him to call me because I can recognize his voice. He says, just give me the code. Uh, it's urgent, Ricky. I don't want the uh, same thing to happen again. Um, I tell him about hackers attempting to scam me and uh, what's Louis's last name. And Louis is his partner. Um, he won't give me a simple answer, just one name. He goes on and continues, and um, as you read this, you realize that um, this person who I'm messaging has no, it is not Steve. Um, he continues to ask me to help him. It's his m means of trying to get access to my Facebook and then hijack it, so I lose control of uh, my Facebook account um, so again uh, he says okay but I'm not entering your Facebook account okay just give me your password and, and I said no nope. you weren't able to tell me who the production manager name is everyone knows him uh, does Louie have a sister that worked in the pipe mill he doesn't remember oh my gosh this guy worked with Louie, they were, they would alternate running the same equipment and he doesn't even know Louie's last name. Uh, and then, uh, anyway, he goes on and, and, and he's searching, I'm certain he's searching um, Steve's uh, friends list and he comes up with uh, last name Virgin, which is correct, but it, he didn't answer the question quite quickly. Um, so he doesn't remember. Um, he, he gives a, a, a guess of Fong for, I give the name of the, fir the first name of the production manager. He gives a guess of Fong and there's no way that this, the Steve I know would remember um, Jim's last name. And then I asked him, uh, my boss, when I was at the pipe mill, what was his first name? His name, name is Tom, and what was his last name? Uh, he doesn't remember. Oh, my gosh. That was his boss. Um, you can go further down, and you can tell um, he doesn't know anybody. In, what's, what's the name of Jim's uh, secretary? And I gave him a list of names. And I, after this list, I told him what was Jim's secretary. And, I, and, and, and her name is in here. 
Uh, the other names are, are just fictitious they, or, or, or people that I know, but they aren't uh, working for Jim at the time. And he couldn't even give me that. Um, so he, he gave me, uh, you said six names, but this, this is nine. And uh, he, he couldn't even give me it. So the, the, the whole intent is that he is a fraud whoever is using uh, Steve's um, Facebook and he's locked Steve out and I've told him, look, I'm changing all my codes. It's going to be higher security on it and it'll be difficult for him to, to access it. So there done. He uh, was uh, ratted out. 